Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a Thread Up DIY jewelry box. And this box is five pounds of repurposed jewelry from Swanee, Georgia. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can definitely work something out. And all of the instructions on how to order are in the description box down below. Please send me a timestamp and or preferably a screenshot of the items that you're interested in along with your name, your mailing address, and your PayPal, your PayPal email address. And we can definitely work something out. Okay guys, so let's dive in and see what's inside this box. Hope everyone is doing well. And happy mid-December. I am doing some Christmas shopping for family and friends. I'm getting a lot of things done at my day job and um, you know, closing out some of the end of year projects and getting ready to take some time off before the new year starts. So I hope you guys are also taking it easy and um, spending some time, quality time with yourselves and family and friends. Because um, this time of year can get very hectic and especially for me, um, I tend to get very introspective at the end of the year. <laughs> so definitely want to have some grace for yourself and give yourself some space. So if you feel like taking a nap, take a nap. And um, if you feel like taking a break, take a break. If you feel like working, do some work. So these boxes cost around $44. Um, this box I purchased a while back. So I don't know if they are still $44, but um, I think these come out to a little bit over $50 for me, including tax and shipping and handling. Okay, guys, so let's take out the bag that's in here. And see what Swanee Georgia has sent us. Focus, focus. So this is first impressions, guys. What do we think? You see, have a lot of beaded items, a lot of fashion items. You see a brass, possibly a locket, which looks really old and potentially cool. So let's dive in and see what's inside. So I'm testing out this new mic, which I've tried once before, but um. Let's see how it goes. Let me know what you think of the sound quality on this. I know some people have complained that um, you can hear this fan noise going on in the background, but that's my noise machine because I have noisy neighbors and I just don't want them to know what I'm doing here. <laughs> but um, hopefully this mic doesn't pick up background sound and you can hear me. you can hear me a little bit more clearly, I hope. Let me know down below. Okay, so we have this locket here. It's brass and it's beautiful. Let's see, let's open it up. And it's got a little bit of um, patina, possibly tarnish there. It's really pretty, um, very beautiful brass locket, very large in size. Uh, I don't know how old this is, but it's really quite large. And it would look lovely polished up, I think. Let's get a measurement on this guy. Sorry about that. This one measures in about two and a half inches. So we have this guy. Really cool. Brass locket. Okay, next. Okay, what do we have here? We have some rings i believe or an earring okay so this is a stretch ring we have a ring within a ring so this is a stretch ring 
this looked like a really cool ring at one point. You could see the copper coming through, unfortunately. This looks like a panther, some, some sort of cheetah. A lot of the copper has come through. But um, really cute nonetheless. But this will be going to craft for a dollar if anybody wants him. I love his green eyes. And um, yeah, he's cute though. But he will go into the craft. And we have this ring, which looks like one of those um, segmented rings. A lot of copper is coming through on this one. It looks like it was really cool at one point. But this will be going into craft for a dollar. Okay. And then we have this wooden necklace. It looks very um, tribal, possibly African. Really beautiful beads on here. I don't know. It's possibly coconut. I've had some coconut shell jewelry in the past. But this one is an infinity. This is the top of it. And it keeps going and going and going and going and going. Very beautiful. Love the colors on this one. It's so vibrant. And so let's take a measurement on this one. This one measures in at about 28 inches for the drop. And that's really pretty. You could definitely double it up or possibly triple it up. I just love the colors on this. And if anybody wants this one, we'll do this one for $7. That's really pretty. Let's see what else we have here. Ooh. Okay, I think I've had this necklace in the past. This is a... I forgot what they call this. Seragli or Seragli um, Turkish necklace. Let's see if we can see it in its entirety. But yeah, I've had one of these in the past. It's one of these coin necklaces here. And the one I had in the past was missing one of the coins. So let's see if all of them are here for this one. I think all the coins are there. This one's just, um, yeah, that one's fine. Yeah, all the coins are here. Even has the coin on the extender there. And I believe this to be a Turkish necklace. I think this is the back of it actually. And it's in pretty good condition. And this is the front of it. Yeah, this one's definitely better shaped than the one I sold previously. But um, I think that one sold for quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. $28 or $30, but this is very beautiful. So we have this beautiful Turkish style necklace. And um, this one measures in at... has approximately a 16 inch um, wearable length with a two inch extender. Very, very beautiful statement bib necklace. And I'll put the price for this down below. Very beautiful. So that's a nice find. Okay, next we have this S initial oval pendant here. And these very beautiful findings. Very, very beautiful, rich, gold, sort of a brushed gold tone bindings. And then we have this clasp here, which is a lobster clasp. There are no marks on this, but it's quite beautiful. Very beautiful necklace. If your name begins with an S, a beautiful necklace. So it's magnetic. And it's a very rich brushed gold. Very beautiful. I love brushed gold. And let's get a measurement on this. See, this measures approximately 14 inches with a two and a half inch extender. It's beautiful. I love this. So let's do this one for $8. That's beautiful. Okay, we have a money clip here. No money, unfortunately. And this looks like it's um, brass or gold hone. Maybe it could be polished up, but i um, not sure. Seems like some of the plating has come off there. I don't think this is anything. It's not magnetic, but 
we have this and this will most likely go into craft so we have that one okay then we have this ring really giant stone here feels cold to the touch let's see if it registers as anything let's bring in the presidium if we can here and let's press the stone here so this is going up to quartz amethyst and citrine i wonder if this is a quartz i don't know it's black it's very beautiful not sure what it is exactly if you guys know down below please share your thoughts on this that's really pretty you guys know so much more than i do about these stones so pretty but it's a brass ring there are no marks on it but it is quite a stunning ring and this measures in at a size six and a half approximately we have this ring and anybody who wants this we'll do this one for eight dollars that's cool we have this ring here another kind of a brass gold tone ring then it has i don't know what these are I'm not sure it's like scales of a dinosaur perhaps or like they're pointers i don't know what do you call those but it's a cool ring definitely uh, a good weapon <laughs> to have on on hand just in case especially if you're a new yorker <laughs> just kidding anyway sort of kind of maybe all right so this one measures in at a size five it's around a at a five and three quarters that's really cool i might keep this one Kind of cool but we have this one okay and we have another ring here there's no marks on this and we have some blue stones there i wonder if this is sterling i don't know i wonder if these are stones let's take a scratch at this and see what this could be yeah it could be sterling We'll take the 18k solution and test it and see if it turns bright blue then we have sterling on our hands if it doesn't then we don't oops sorry guys And it does turn bright blue so this is definitely sterling very interesting and let's see that is possibly sterling i wonder if these are stones let's bring the presidium in and test these stones here so these are going up to jadeite and spinel Yeah, they're falling into jadeite and spinel. So I wonder, could this be spinel? Very interesting. So I don't know what this is. Is it a ring, like a sort of a midi ring? Or is it for your ear or your nostril? <laughs> I'm not sure. But if you guys know what this is, let me know. But this is definitely 925. And then we have some possibly spinel. Okay, so we have that. That is interesting. So we'll put that on the side. And then we have one of these fashion rings. Very beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this is just glass. The presidium is very, very temperamental. Okay, so I think this is just a glass ring. But it's a very pretty peachy color. Very lovely and um, yeah it's pretty sorry about my hands guys are very dry lately um, my winter is not 
pie into my hands, as I'm sure for most of you guys too. This is a size six. And if anybody wants this, we'll do this one for five dollars. Okay. Okay, we have, oh my gosh, we have a knuckle ring. And I've, <laughs> I've kind of wanted one of these for the longest time. Um, <laughs> to tell you the truth, this one, I don't know if that is rust or copper. I'm not quite sure. And then on the back here, has a lot of scratches. So I don't know if that is rust or copper. I think you wear it like this, right? And then I guess you just wear it like that. And I don't know. It's kind of strange. But yeah, we have one of these knuckle rings. So interesting. <laughs> And I don't think this is sterling. I don't think. You never know, right? Nope, it's not. You can see the copper coming through there. Wishful thinking on my part. Okay, so we have a lot of interesting rings. They probably belong to the same person. But this ring, and they probably wore their rings to death because a lot of them have the copper coming through. And this guy has a lot of copper coming through. And he's really cute. He's got the double... Um, double ring really cute ring but unfortunately a lot of copper coming through and that will go into craft for a dollar still pretty cool if you can fix that guy up somehow let's see we have a lot of rings here let's see if we can get these rings all out here and see what this is okay Let's see what we have here. Ooh, we have a plastic, like a hook. I'm not sure where this came out from, but we'll put that aside and see if we can find where that came from. We have a missing lone bead but on the side. We have another one of these rings. This one is not marked as well. It does have some wear on the interior there. The silver plating on the inside. But it's very pretty. It's again, it's like a peachy pink color. This one's going up towards glass too. And this one is a size. This one's a size six. If anybody wants this one, this one will be six dollars. If anybody wants that one. And we have another ring here. This one has a yellow stone. This is pretty. Um, there is some wear on the interior as well with the plating there. You can see that. But I like the, the ornateness of the setting here. There is some stuff here in between. I don't know if that can be cleaned up. Probably could be easily. It's got some stuff inside there. This is probably glass too. Yes, it is. And this one is a size, this one's a size seven. So if anybody wants this one, we'll do this one for $5. That one needs to be cleaned up. Then we have this ring here, which is missing a bunch of stones, three stones to be exact. This one is not marked and it's just brass. We have that one. This will go into craft for a dollar. Might be worth harvesting these rhinestones. Okay. Next we have this ring. Very pretty. And it has, these are, I think these are marcasites, but they're missing some. Around here and here. It's very pretty, but definitely has a lot of wear. It's got that antiqued brass look to it. Um, still beautiful, but yeah, it has a lot of wear. And this one measures in at size three. And this one's a little bent. So that was okay, next we have this necklace here. And this looks like the Turkish necklace we saw earlier, except this one is a little bit more um, longer. 
and narrower and it has um, longer dangles. It's very pretty. And I've not had this one before. So this is the top of it. It's a lobster clasp. And then it has this really beautiful sort of horn look to it. It has all these dangles. And unfortunately, I see this chain right here. You have some rust to it. I believe that is rust. There's some of that rust going on there, which I do not like. That is a shame, and that's the back of it. I may try and clean this. I don't know. I may choose to remove some of these. Um, I don't know. Rust is a really not my forte. I don't like to deal with rust. Um, but I. It's a beautiful necklace, though. I think somebody could easily fix this if they can remove the rust. But this one will go into craft, and this one will be $2 if anybody wants it to fix. And I'm going to put that in a bag because it has rust. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know what this is, but we will put that off to the side. Okay, let's take out a few more items here. Okay, let's see what we have. First, let's see. What is this? I do try, to try and save a lot of my jewelry, but um, the piles are getting quite large of the things that need repair. So I am willing to offer them to you for very cheap prices, so hopefully you guys can fix things up and you will have better luck with trying to save the jewelry. And I um, really do appreciate it when you guys remake the jewelry because you guys are so talented and I love when you share. Um, their creations with me. Um, okay, so I'm going to look at this one first. That's really beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, guys. A druzy, sort of like a geode. Look at that. It's beautiful. That is just stunning, guys. This is the back of it. Wow, that is stunning. I don't know if this is a quartz, possibly, but um, let's see. I have this chain here, and there are no marks on the chain. I don't think it's sterling. It's not. But let's see what this possibly could be. Let's bring the proscenium in. Oops, sorry about that. And let's test the stone. So this is going up towards the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite family. Hmm. Oops. Wow. Just going up towards the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite. I don't know what this could possibly be. And the back is going up to Quartz Amethyst Citrine. This could be a combination of things. So this part is actually registering, if you can see guys, as quartz, sort of, was at one point. I don't know, but it's definitely something, guys. This is registering as metal. So I don't know, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely a stone. It's definitely possibly several stones combined. I don't know how they did this. It's beautiful. And so there is some wear here. I don't know if that's verdigris happening on the bell there. That definitely needs to be cleaned up. There is some tarnishing on the side here. I don't think this is sterling. No, it's not. But um, the chain definitely has a lot of wear to it as well. But the pendant itself is quite beautiful. So this has a 22-inch um, wearable length. 
and this is about two and a quarter inch but it's very beautiful and so if anybody wants this we'll do this for we'll do this for six dollars just for the pendant itself we have another horn type thing okay mystery i don't know what that is then we have an earring here it's very dirty we have a looks like a possibly a quartz crystal and this is marked 925 on the back there on the earring post and it has like an infinity um, little mark there i'm pretty sure this is sterling but we'll put this off to the side and test it later and see if we find a match okay let's see what's here i think we have one of those um bolero type things okay oh this is interesting this fist that is really cool uh clasp here and it is lobster clasp and this looks like it's lost some of its gold tone plating this is a brassy chain and then it has this hand this fist really beautiful hand and i don't know if something is on the bottom here it looks like there might have been some type of a quartz piece here that has broken off that is a really cool hand so this is the top of the necklace and this is the bottom of it and it's really heavy so but let me see if this test has quartz on the bottom because i feel like i don't know so it's going up to jadeite and spinel guys and now it's going up to, I think it's quartz. I think this is quartz for some reason. Yeah, it's somewhere in the quartz range. So there's definitely some kind of crystal in here. I think this is a quartz crystal. Very interesting. I really like this a lot. So this is 30 inches. Definitely needs to be cleaned. I don't know if this is plated in some type of gold but it's really really cool so we have this this fist necklace with crystals okay then we have one of these earrings here looks like faux marcasite it's just the metal this is the back of it I think it says something there I can't make it out guys can you don't know what that says hmm but let's see if we find a match to this earring Put that off to the side let's see if we find a match okay next we have this um skull i think this is a ram am i not sure but it's a bolero i think and i think this is leather Seems to be a little worn on the bottom here quite good on the top and there's a little bit of wear here i think that is like rust happening that's not cool so if anybody wants to clean him he will be two dollars going into craft it's really cool i like it start with this one over here we have this necklace here and let's see if there's a mark on this there's no mark on this I don't think it looks very tarnished but it is not magnetic so let's test it and see possibly be sterling looks like it could be right very silvery compared to the copper scratch here let's take the 18k solution test it and if it turns bright blue the scratch then we have sterling on our hands and guys we do Woohoo! it's awesome it's always good to test guys because you never know what you might have sometimes i forget to test but this chain is broken 
all it needs is to be hooked back on right there on that jump ring. It's got a very teeny tiny clasp, which is super annoying, especially when you have to um, get to work in the morning like I do. But um, this is a sterling silver chain. And if anybody wants this one, I will fix it for you. This one will be $7. Okay, next we have, let's look at this one. This one has a lobster clasp. There is no tag on this. Very long extender. And it's gold tone, sort of antiqued gold tone brass. And then we have these beautiful, beautiful beads here. These feel like they could be glass. Let me test and see. Yeah, these are glass beads, guys. Yeah, these are all going up towards glass. It's a very, very beautiful necklace here. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it in its entirety. You can. But it's very beautiful. I love that. I'm so sorry. My table is very crowded. But it's beautiful, guys. Very beautiful colored beads here with the AB crystals. I love this one. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And the black faceted ones and these smoky looking ones. Gorgeous. Very beautiful. Love it. And so this one measures in at 16 inches. It could use a good white down, but it is in good condition, I think. The three inch extender. And we are going to do this one for, we'll do this one for, these are glass beads. We'll do this one for $8. It's beautiful. Next, we have this one with the brass colored beads here. I think these are metal beads and they're on this um it's a fabric board and it looks like it's kind of worn but it's still kind of cool and you could see some of the copper coming through some of the beads i think it's still a cool necklace so this is the top of it it has a lobster clasp you can see the copper coming through on the clasp and this is the bottom of it and so this has a measurement of 11 inch drop. And then we have a two inch extender. And if anybody wants this one, we'll do this one for $3. Still pretty cool. Um, these have a really nice antique look to it. You could even make earrings with this. Wire wrap them, make some lovely earrings. If you like that kind of uh, distressed look which I kind of do, especially with brass. But yeah, we have that one. Okay, next we have this guy, and it's a dolphin necklace. Okay. And this chain seems to be... Um, kind of threaded through the veil twice. See if we can get this out. Okay, so this one does not have any marks on the bail. Good old magnet. It's not magnetic. Hmm. Well, let's test it and see if it is sterling. A good scratch to it. Hmm, I could see the copper coming through there. The dolphin's definitely not. And the chain is definitely not, because you could see the copper coming through. So this is not a sterling piece. It's a cute little guy, nonetheless, and it has a little pearl in the center. And it's going to measure them on this guy. This measures about 16 inches. And if anybody wants this little dolphin, let's do him for... Let's do him for $4. He's cute. Okay, next... We have these beautiful beads, and these look like Millefiori beads. So beautiful flowers. Very beautiful, and they're glass. And this looks like it could be a sterling chain. Possibly handmade, I'm not sure. 
No, this has a FAS, a FAS chain. And this one, hmm, I'm not sure what's going on here. Somebody tried to extend this somehow, but I think all you have to do is remove that and then hook this back on here and it will be fixed, which I will do if you want it. So this one measures approximately 16 inches once fixed. So it has sort of a Y necklace look with the two dangles here. Very beautiful. And I will definitely fix this for you if you want it. But let's test this and see if it is indeed sterling. Test the chain. And let's test the clasp. Definitely looks like it's sterling. So we'll take the 18K solution again. Test these two scratches. And if they turn bright blue, we have sterling on our hands. And ta-da, we do. We have blue. So this is definitely a FAS, F-A-S chain. Definitely needs to be repaired. And it has these lovely millefiori beads on it. And I will put a price for this below. And I will send this out to you fixed if you want it. Okay. Then we have this necklace here. And sometimes these necklaces could be sterling. But sometimes they are not. This one does not have any marks on it. And it's very tarnished. See if it's magnetic. It is magnetic. So this definitely needs to be cleaned up. It's very tarnished. So this one measures in at approximately 14 inches with a two and a half inch extender. If anybody wants this one, we will do this one for a dollar because it's very tarnished and you need to polish this guy up. Okay, and then we have this guy here, this multi-strand beauty. This one has a lobster clasp and it has these sterling, not sterling, silver tone chains. And then we have these beautiful yellow, very beautiful yellow beads here. Very pretty, all in sorts of rondelle faceted shapes. And these are the square rectangular ones. And just very beautiful. Some are AB coated. And this is the bottom of it. Very beautiful, happy necklace. And you could definitely double this up quite easily. That's just stunning yellow beauty. And let's get a measurement on this. This one measures in at. 19 inch drop and I think these are glass yeah they're moving towards glass so I believe these to be glass beads so if anybody wants this beauty let's do this one for let's do this one for let's do this one for eight dollars that's pretty these two earrings um and I think, unfortunately, this one is chopped off. <laughs> we have these crystal points. So you can try and chop off that crystal point, or you can wear them as mismatched earrings, which is very trendy right now. So these I believe to be quartz. Let's test them and see. And they are. So they are crystal quartz. They're crystal, and I love quartz. I feel like... Very good for clarity and protection, and I just love quartz. And these are marked 925, and they have an infinity symbol. Do a scratch on this, and we will test that and see if it is 925, and it's indeed sterling. And I think both of them are marked. Yes, they are both marked. 925 
on the back. Okay, so very cool. And so if anybody wants these, I think we're going to do these for $8. I think that's really cool. Okay, then we have a match to that earring we saw earlier. And it definitely says something there, but I just cannot make it out, guys. I don't know what that says. But this is definitely shows some wear. I think these were supposed to be a little bit more black, maybe. I'm not sure. Or maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. What do you think, guys? It has this foam or cassette look. Really cool. Next, we have this beautiful, beautiful bracelet. And it's a Givenchy. You can see. Uh, Givenchy. Beautiful. And this has a little safety clasp here. It has a push button uh, latch here. And then you have your little safety clasp. And it has beautiful rhinestones. And this center rhinestone is gorgeous. It's pink. I think all the stones are there. It does need to be wiped down. I think it's in good condition. It's beautiful. Wow. Really beautiful Givenchy. And this one measures in at approximately seven inch wrist with a two and a half inch diameter. But that is gorgeous, guys. Really beautiful. I love that one. And then last for this part, we have this necklace here. Really cool. And these look like real pearls to me. Yeah, these definitely look like real pearls to me. Really beautiful. They have a nice weight to them. I'll just make sure they're not glass. Hmm, they could be glass. They're testing as glass on the Presidium. So maybe they are glass pearls. They're very pretty pink peachy color. It's very interesting clasp here. I don't even know how to say it. They sort of have the abnormalities that the real pearls do. So maybe they are real. I think they might be real. But they are beautiful. It's like a collar length. And this one measures in at approximately 18 inches around. Very beautiful. Okay, guys. So that was it for part one of this Thread Up DIY Jewelry Unboxing. We still have this much more to go. So I'm going to stop right here. I think this unboxing was pretty good so far. A lot of interesting jewelry. This pearl necklace was lovely. The Givenchy was really pretty. This one was pretty. A really happy yellow colored necklace. Definitely liked this um, Turkish necklace. This was also very pretty. No, but I thought this fist necklace was pretty cool too. Kind of like this locket. Very cool brass locket. And this little guy was fun. But yeah, guys, um, a very interesting box so far. Um, hopefully we'll find some more goodies in part two, but uh, let me know guys what you thought of this box so far. No gold, no, not a lot of sterling so far. Hopefully some interesting pieces here, a lot of fashion jewelry. Yeah, I think the Givenchy was definitely my favorite along with this Turkish necklace. So let me know your favorites down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, yeah, once again, just make sure that you are taking some time for yourself and enjoying the holiday season. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Please hit the thumbs up on the way out. Please make sure that you hit the notification bell as well so that you're notified of my next video. And most of all, guys, be well.